Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Five of Wands. So, definitely a breakup that happens. You could have gone from one relationship to another very quickly. And now you're thinking back on the previous relationship. Um, you could be spying or somebody could be spying on you. Um, let me get some clarifiers. Tell me about the wheel for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The wheel. Tell me about the wheel. Two of Swords reversed. So definitely some stagnant energy. Um, could have been the reason why the relationship ended. Or you could be feeling that way now after the relationship has ended and you have started a new one. Um, maybe you felt like the reason why you were unhappy was because of the previous relationship, but now that energy, this, you know, stuck energy is carrying on into the next one and you're realizing that you know, maybe it wasn't the relationship that needed work. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's too many. Nine of Pentacles for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. King of Wands. So definitely jumping from one relationship to another. There was no single period. There was no healing process. There was no, you know, taking time to, um, taking time for yourself. Um, I don't necessarily see third party here. I mean, there could have been with the three of swords, but you definitely left one person for another. And now you're reflecting on everything and realizing that the same issues that you had in the first relationship are carrying over into the next one. So you're realizing that maybe it wasn't that previous partner or this current partner, that maybe the issues were with yourself and you not finding happiness with yourself. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups for Gemini. Four of Cups in reverse. So definitely thinking back, feeling like you may have missed an opportunity with this person from the past or with this current person feeling like like it's probably not going to go anywhere either. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Swords reversed. So communication is definitely cut off with both, I feel like. You're not talking to the person from the past. You're not talking to your current partner. Um, trying to take time to fix yourself. Um, you have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, so there could be physical distance between you. Could be dealing with a cancer. Um, tell me about this page of swords. For Gemini. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Three of Swords reversed. You could be spying on this person to see if they've moved on from the relationship. They could be spying on you to see if you're happy in your current relationship. 
tell me about the five of wands either way i feel like somebody from your past either wants you to come back around or you want them to come back around you have the six of wands in reverse so not feeling any victory um not feeling very proud of yourself um realizing that you didn't appreciate the person from the past as much as you should have and maybe you're not appreciating the, the current person as much as you should tell me about the six of wands seven of wands eight of cups You got some walls up. And I feel like you're going to... I don't feel like you're going back to the other person, but I feel like you may be breaking up with your current partner soon. So that you can work on yourself. So that you can um, find happiness within. You do have the chariot again at the bottom of the deck. You could be moving away physically. Or maybe you're going on a vacation. Either way, I feel like you're going to focus more on yourself in the very near future so that any future relationships can be more promising. So let me get you an oracle card from the Oracle of Visions. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Reaching out. Somebody is reaching out, whether that be your spirit guides, somebody from the past. I feel like maybe it's your spirit guides with this at the bottom of the deck. That's a spirit guide right there watching over a newborn infant, being amazed by creation and all that. So I feel like your spirit guides are definitely reaching out to you and telling you that it's time to um, work on yourself. That if you want happiness, you need to go within and find it rather than always seeking it through partners. So you could most definitely be dealing with a fire sign or have fire in your charts or you're just feeling very passionate, um, you know, really chasing after your dreams, or this could be about another person. Um, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So either this is, you know, you following your dreams, building up a legacy, or this could be somebody that you see spending the rest of your life with. Um, with patience right away at the bot or at the very first card, it's going to take a bit and you have the ace of wands and the ace of swords. So a new beginning is coming and then you have two knights, the knight of swords, which is very quick energy and the knight of Pente pentacles, which is the slowest moving knight. So one person is, you know, all about rushing headfirst into this while you have another person that's like, whoa, pump the brakes. I need a little bit of time first. So with, and with patience being right here, I feel like Gemini, you are the knight of swords here wanting to just rush, rush right in, excuse me, wanting to, you know, Start a new adventure. Um, I'm going to clarify this five of wands. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Death reversed. So there's some kind of change that you're not accepting. 
clarify death, please. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but clarify death for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could, um, the change that you're not accepting could be, you know, learning to, not get so angry about everything all the time. You know, you could be the type of person that, you know, gets fired up over a Monopoly game and, you know, makes everything a competition and kind of takes the fun out of everything. Um, because you're so competitive or clarify this ace of wands reverse. Ten of Wands. Three. Ace. Three. So we're only missing, what, three of the Wand cards besides Court cards? So you're going, like, you're progressing really quickly, so you have to be this Knight of Swords energy. Well, this other person that you're dealing with you know, wants to take things slow. You, that's that competitive energy right there that I, you know, I just saw a quote today on a friend's Facebook that said something along the lines of God isn't in a hurry. You're the one that's in a hurry and you're making, you're stressing yourself out. You're you know, making yourself tense for nothing. Slow down. I feel like that's the energy that I'm seeing right here with these, with this five of wands, death reverse, ace of wands reverse, and the ten of wands. You're creating more responsibility, more burden for yourself by not slowing down and taking things at a, at a slower pace. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles to Gemini. Hi, or excuse me, the Priestess reversed. So, clarify the Priestess. Why is the Priestess reversed? Clarify the Priestess reversed. You could be, um, your intuition could be telling you it's time to let go of someone. <laughs> four of coins. Yeah, so you have four of pentacles, priestess reversed, and then the four of coins. Um, your intuition could be telling you it's time to let go of someone or something, and you're still holding on to it, and you're creating this burden for you by letting it, you know, you're not allowing this change to happen, and it's, you know, making you angry. And, you know, even if the other person hasn't apologized for whatever they did to you that, that you're holding on to, um, forgive them for yourself. You're creating more burdens for yourself. You're creating hardship for yourself. You're not happy. You're going through life pissed off at the world because of something that happened to you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Whoops. You have the Magician, Queen of Wands reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. So you, you know, you're manifesting all the wrong types of people in your life because you're holding on to something that you should be letting go of. Clarify this Ace of Swords for Gemini. Oops. Too many, but we'll take these three. Strength card, Ten of Swords, Tower reversed. It's time to let it go. It's time to move on. This tower happened a long-ass time ago. You were stabbed in the back a long-ass time ago. You already went through this pain. Why keep going through it? Just let it go. 
whether this person wants to apologize or not, for your own sake, for your own happiness, let it go. Tell me about the Six of Wands. I feel like this is ego with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands for Gemini. Five of Wands reversed. And that's that, you know, it's more than just healthy competition. This is now getting into, like, jealousy and rage and, you know, combative energy. This is, like, physical fights. And it's, you know, right on the Six of Wands, right after I said, I feel like this is ego. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Wands for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two of Coins. If you were to balance out your energy and let go of whatever this is that you're holding on to, you could start new. You could have a new adventure. But you're still holding on to it. Tell me about those Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. It's time to make a choice. Do you want to hold on to this for the rest of your life or do you want to let it go and live your life? The lovers at the bottom of the deck. There's another choice. In the world. It's time to let go. It's time to move on. It doesn't matter what this person did to you anymore. It's in the past. You can't change it. No matter how much you think about it, you can't change what happened. And dwelling on it is only going to ruin the rest of your life. So let me get you an oracle card. Final advice for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do that one. Jumped. This is, um, I feel like this card, like, is about, you may need to go, um, go to a Reiki healer, a Reiki master. It could help with you, um, letting go of whatever this is that's, you know, eating you alive. But it's time to to rest, take a break, you know, heal, forgive, move on so that in the future you can find some happiness. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, take this person back or allow them to come back into your life, but holding on to whatever happened is ruining the rest of your life. You're not happy. You're not happy at all. You're just angry. So freaking angry. There's so many wands on this table. And there's arrogance and ego on this table. So you got to release it. Release whatever uh, burden you're holding on to for your own sake. If you don't want to, you know, forgive this, if you don't want to forgive this person for their sake, because it doesn't look like you do, <laughs> uh, at least do it for you. Do it for you and whoever comes into your life next. Because I guarantee they won't want to deal with this angry mess. 